from its origins as a woodland-era Indian settlement to its charter as a planned community in the spring of 1959, Peachtree City enjoys a rich and vibrant history. And as it looks toward its second half century, it's worthwhile to reflect upon the first 50 years of this unrivaled community we all embrace as home. I would say the culture of Peachtree City is very family-oriented, it's active-minded and civic-minded. We are a young community with a rich history, and it's important for us to preserve the stories that we've got. The city is hitting its middle years. Uh, if you're talking in people terms, it's sort of middle-aged, and that's when people begin to reflect on their own lives, and so the city is beginning to reflect on its life. The library's Joel Cowan History Room has been gathering more artifacts, more documents, and more uh, piece of our, pieces of our history so that we can put it all together to help tell the city's history. The area now known as Peachtree City was first settled by Native Americans almost 2,000 years ago. In 1775, William McIntosh Jr., the son of a Scotsman and Creek Indian woman, was born and later became chief of the Lower Creek Indian tribes of Georgia. Chief McIntosh believed that the native population and white settlers could live together in peace and in 1821 ceded Creek land to the federal government part of which eventually became Fayette County. William McIntosh was a Creek leader in the 1820s. His father was Scottish and his mother was, uh, was Indian. And I think that probably let him uh, try to keep a foot in both worlds, both the white man's and the Indian's. However, he was murdered by his own people and became somewhat of a tragic hero. William McIntosh became an iconic figure here in Fayette County, possibly due to uh, Carolyn Carey, the Fayette County historian's efforts to keep his name alive. In the 1950s, a group of visionary real estate developers amassed over 12,000 acres in South Fayette County in order to build a planned community, a dream fully realized once Peachtree City was chartered on March 9, 1959. Two of the most influential figures in those early years were Joel Cowan and Floyd Farr. Joel Cowan was 20 years old when he met Pete Knox, who happened to be the father of one of his fraternity brothers at Georgia Tech. Pete Knox, along with his brothers, was from Thompson, Georgia, and ha was quite the businessman and builder. Um, he was intrigued by Joel Cowan's spunk, I would say, and uh, they, they met and talked about the concept of new towns. and. So he got Joel excited about it. Joel was 20 years old at the time. And in 1959, when this town was incorporated, he was its first, first mayor at the age of 22. Floyd Farr, on the other hand, was a, a bit older than uh, Joel. He was a local banker and businessman. He'd grown up in Tyrone. He'd taken the train in to Atlanta to, be, uh, to go to business school there. He knew the Huddlestons, who were great uh, landowners here, and so he knew what would be the most likely configuration to, to find a, a large tract of land at one time. Peachtree City itself was designed around a cluster of villages, each with its own shopping areas, recreational facilities, and elementary schools. Peachtree City was originally conceived on a village concept. The neighborhood retail centers with grocery stores and drug stores are located close to the residential areas for convenience of the residents. It reduces traffic if you have to drive to a local center versus across town to purchase the things you need on a regular basis. What was so important early on was that bike path system. It began as a bike path system, but it soon became the secondary system of roads within Peachtree City. No other town has it, not to the extent that we, that we do. Throughout its first decade, the city endured slow industrial growth, eventually building a viable industrial base. Originally, Peachtree City was expected to be home to somewhere between 75,000 and 80,000 residents, but by the mid-1970s, the land use plan was revised to allow for between 40,000 and 50,000 residents. It was important to Joel Cowan from the beginning that there be the proper balance of not just um, industry and people, but people from all economic walks. 
I think there's a large percentage of people who can actually live and work in town here. Not everybody does, um, and a lot of them commute somewhere else in, in town, uh, even on the north side of Atlanta or in the Southern Crescent, but a good many people do work and live in the same town, and I think it makes them feel stronger connections to the community because of that. Today, Peachtree City is a stable and prospering community, with affluent residents supporting a wide array of businesses, restaurants, and public works, including the public library, which resides at the crossroads of the city's most defining characteristic, over 90 miles of pathways. The Joel Cowan History Room represents the pride that our citizens take in their, in their city. What we have found in the History Room is that History doesn't exactly fall in your lap, but it is a series of connections that you make between events and people, and it keeps going. Whether you start now and work your way back, or start with something from back then and work your way forward, um, it's all about the connections that we can make. The Joel Cowan History Room is a gateway to Peachtree City's past. Open to residents and visitors alike, it is free to the public and houses an extensive collection of historical documents and artifacts chronicling the origins and development of this unique community. I've said the more we dig, the more we learn. And that is so true because the more we dig, the more that comes at us to dig through. And it's fun to make the connections. It's very much a discovery process and it'll continue to be a discovery process. So we're going to continue adding to what we know and expanding on, on the history that's already been and what's coming ahead. For more information about the Joel Cowan History Room, as well as additional historical documentation about Peachtree City itself, visit your Peachtree City website at www.peachtree-city.org.